Hi everyone, I am back. This is Teacher Joanne of Math Room. If in the last video, we discussed why businesses put markup on their prices and how to compute for this value, now let us understand why do businesses put items on sale? Or why do they mark down their prices? students who are having business mathematics, let us learn together another important concept in business, focusing on markdown. What are the learning objectives? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to define markdown and illustrate how markdown is obtained. For the essential questions, we should answer the following. First, why do businesses put markdown on their prices? And second, how to compute for markdown. Let us first define markdown. Markdown is known as discount. It is the amount deducted from the selling price. It is the difference between the selling price and the sale price. There are other important terms that we need to know in markdown. First is the selling price. This is the price that the item is actually sold. Second, the sale price. Sale price is a discounted price of an item from the regular selling price. Third is markdown rate or discount rate. This is the percent of the original selling price. Why do businesses put markdowns on their products or services? Putting a markdown on the prices of your products or services is a good marketing strategy in business. And here are some of the reasons why they do this. First, to entice customers to buy more items or purchase more. Remember, by reaching out more customers, it helps the sales of products or services go higher and thus benefit the business a lot. This will also encourage customers to buy bulk. This will also encourage customers to buy in bulk volume. Next, to make the price appealing to customers. Third, to get rid of slow-moving merchandise or out-of-style inventories. This is in order to free up the storage space. For others, it can be a means of removing excess or old products or for people to be invited to try services that are not in demand. Next, to stimulate increased sales. Most businesses have sales goals and they need to meet these goals in order to remain profitable. So if you think that your business is not going to reach its sales goals, you can try to boost sales by offering discounts. Next, to meet the prices of competitors. You need to make sure that your prices are competitive. Last, to draw customers in and get them looking at other products that have higher markup. Retailers offer discounts as a means of encouraging customers to return to their store and look for the products with discounts. But always remember that customers are always looking for ways to save money and they prefer to buy from stores that offer the best deals. When is the best time to provide markdown? It is when people are still cautious about spending. Since they are still relatively price sensitive, it is easier for businesses to attract them with discounts, promotions, and coupons. With proper planning and timing, it can drive your business to new heights of success. So how do we compute for markdown? The steps to compute for the sale price. First, markdown is equal to markdown rate times the selling price. After this, you need to solve for the sale price which is selling price minus markdown. Or, to combine these two steps, we have sale price is equal to selling price minus the product of selling price and the percent of the markdown. Let us now have an example. Finding the markdown and sale price. The appliances store put their items on sale. What are the markdown and the sale price of a smart television that has a regular price of 25800 and is on sale for 25% off the regular price. 
So here in this problem, first, let us take out the given values. We can see here that the selling price is provided. And this is equal to the 25,800. Next, we also have the markdown rate, which is 25%. Convert this in decimal, we have 0 0.25. Now, we are being asked to find the markdown and the sale price. So based on our formula, we have the markdown is equal to the product of the markdown rate and the selling price, which are both given in this problem. So we have the 0 0.25 markdown rate multiplied to the selling price, which is 25,800, and it gives us a value of 6,450. So we have the sale price, which is SAP, is equal to the selling price minus the markdown value. So we have 25,800 minus 6,450. And this gives us 19,350 as the sale price. So, mean to say that the television has a markdown value of 6,450 pesos and a sale price of 19,350. Second example, we have finding the markdown and the rate. A shoe store declares to reduce the prices of their running shoes. If the average selling price of a running shoes is 6,500, and its sale price is 4,940, what are its markdown and markdown rate? So first, let's write the given values. The selling price is 6,500. The sale price is given, which is 4,940. Based on these two given values, what we can find first is the value of the markdown. Going back to the formula, we can apply the second step, which is the sale price is equal to the selling price minus the markdown. As you can see here, in this given, we have the sale price, which is 4,940, equals the selling price, which is 6,500, minus the markdown. All we need to do is sub to manipulate our equation. So here we have MD, to make it positive, equals 6,500 minus 4,940, which is equivalent to 1,560. So this is now the markdown value. Next is to find the markdown rate. To find the markdown rate, what we need is markdown is equal to the markdown rate times the selling price. Markdown, we have 1,560 equals the markdown rate, which is unknown, times the selling price, which is 6,500. So here we have to divide both sides by 6,500. Cancel the 6,500. So we have MDR or the markdown rate, which is 0 0.24 in percent that is 24%. So this shows that the running shoes has a markdown value of 1,560 and its markdown rate is 24% based on the selling price. After giving you two examples, Kindly try the following. Complete the table by filling out the missing items. You may pause the video so you can answer the following. Let us now answer. For the selling price, we have 2,600. To get this, you just have to simply add the sale price and the markdown. For the markdown rate, we have 17.30% by having the ratio of the markdown and the selling price. Next, we have 
the sale price which is 3214.80 1015.20 were you able to answer this if yes let's move to the next item what are the markdown and the sale price of an antique jar that has a regular price of 35,800 and is on sale for 26% off the regular price. Here are the answers. First, for the markdown, we have 9,308 by multiplying the regular price or the selling price times the markdown rate. Next, for the sale price, it is 26,492, subtracting the selling price and the markdown value. For this lesson, here are the things that you have to take note. Markdown refers to the amount deducted from the selling price of an item. And to solve for this, first, look for the markdown, which is markdown rate times the selling price. Next is to look for the sale price, which is the selling price minus the markdown. Always remember that in business, putting a markdown in your prices is a marketing strategy, and I hope you will be able to apply the concept of markdown in your own businesses. So here is the end of our discussion. Thanks for watching. I hope you have learned a lot from this video. Bye everyone. See you in our next video.